suppose you have a patient with diffuse thyroid gland enlargement the thyroid gland is diffusely enlarged forming consistency non tender free from underlying and overlying structure and most importantly brui present in the enlarged thyroid gland so with this background with this finding of thyroid gland grave disease is very likely so after getting this type of thyroid finding you are asked to examine the patient for thyroid status clinically you know the uh, grave disease patient with grave disease may present thyrotoxic state you thyroid state or hypothyroid state so this is very important for clinical examination that the grave disease patient what you have at this point you are asked to evaluate the clinical status that is whether the patient is in the thyrotoxic you or hypothyroid state so what are the point or how to evaluate the patient for thyroid status today's video is on this point so functional status of thyroid gland in a grave disease patient there are three point hand examination eye examination and leg examination at first we should go for examination of the hand on inspection that is three point uh, all the point here actually i uh, arrange in three in number always try to make it three in number for easy remembering i think on inspection of the hand examination there may be pawani edema number 2 thyroid acrophasy that is a digital clapping and sometimes very unlikely on icolysis and on palpation of the hand the hand appear warm and sweaty on handshake and pulse important very important the pulse of course increase may be more than 120 beats per minute and the rate may be regular or irregular if it is irregular it may be uh, atrial fibrillation and number 3 point on palpation of the hand is tremor that is fine tremor of out stress hand patient is to be asked uh, out stress his or her hand and placing a piece of paper on the hand uh, you will see that fine tremor is present or not then number 2 eye examination on examination of the eye at first inspection exophthalmos will be obvious during exophthalmos examination you should examine the eye from front side and back of the patient there may be conjunctival chemosis and lid retraction lid retraction means when sclera is seen above the upper limbus of cornea normally the upper limbus normally the sclera above the upper limbus of cornea not visible rather upper one third of the cornea is closed by upper lid so this is a uh, lid retraction may be present there <coughs> sorry number 2 point of eye examination is palpation on palpation lid lag may be present then ophthalmoplegia ophthalmoplegia is tested by a test moving your finger while patient fix his or her head and follow your finger and during the ophthalmo uh, ophthalmoplegia examination patient uh, is asked uh, for diplopia when he or she follow the examining finger 
and number three point on palpation of the eye is impaired convergence convergence is impaired this is called very popular movia sign okay now the last point of thyroid function status examination is leg examination on leg examination there is also three point ptbl mixed edema it is the one of the most important pathognomonic sign for Graves disease number one number two ankle jerk we know in thyroidic state ankle jerk all the deep tendon reflex are exaggerated but mind it only the deep tendon reflex are exaggerated but not the plantar response we know plantar response is not a deep tendon reflex but the question is how to differentiate the exaggerated deep tendon reflex in thyrotoxic patient from the exaggerated deep, deep tendon reflex from the upper motor neuron lesion patient in both case we know a deep tendon reflex goes off but in a patient with upper motor neuron lesion plantar response goes off but in thyrotoxic patient plantar response remain normal that is goes down that is plantar flexure bilateral this is the differentiating point okay and number 3 proximal myopathy so this is all about how to evaluate a patient with grave disease for functional status of thyroid gland so thank you thank you very much